Welcome, I'm Dan Nichols, and today we're going to be showing you tools in Excel. Joining me though is Arjun Mystery. Hi, I'm Arjun Mystery, uh, and uh, really excited to be part of this. Today. Oh yes, we're all buzzing to get some Excel on the go. Come on. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with the with the cut tool. So, so uh, why don't you take away Dan? I would love to. Um, if we select my name here, which is which is Dan, obviously, and we press the cut cut button. You will see a um, a dashed border coming around. This means that um, my name has been put into the RAM and is ready to be moved. Quite commonly in your ECDL exam, they will refer to cutting as moving. So if I just demonstrate how this works, so I've cut my name and I'm going to move it over to E3. So if I then press the paste button, it's moved the contents of the of cell A3 over to E3. This is different. To copying. Copying is something Arjun is going to talk you through. So, uh, <coughs> copying is a tool which moves the data but leaves it still in its original location. So, as you can, uh, we'll just carry out the copy. So, it's still come up with the dashboard around the cell that we're copying. And if we go to A3, when we press paste, it's still left it in its original location but it's also copied it to a new location, A3. So it's a very convenient tool if you need to copy similar data to another cell, like school. If you need to copy uh, school along the column, then you can simply drag the button and it's copied. So Dan, why don't you talk us about the next tool, which is uh, Format Painter. Um, yeah, for, for, Format Painter. Um, do you know about Format Painter, yeah? Uh, do you? Uh... No, I thought I thought you had this covered. For, format Painter. For... OMG, guys, you're so silly. Format Painter is one of the most easiest whoa, tools whoa, to use whoa, on Excel. Whoa, Who, who's this? Who's this? This is special guest today. Just surprised us out of nowhere. This is Mr. Adam Daly. Hello, Adam. He's, he seems to be Hello. an expert on this uh, Format Painter. Adam is an expert in using Format Painter in programs such as Excel. So he's going to talk us through how to use the Format Painter. Take it away, Adam. Yes. First, we click the cell A2 which has the things that we want to copy and then we click format painter which basically duplicates the cell formatting and then we just drag it across all the cells that we want to format and there we go we have it so it's as easy as that brilliant thank that you is for that. expert thank Adam you. Daly we'd like to thank him for coming down to the studio today thank you for opening our minds to the wonders oh. of format painter now we both know how to do this and we hope you do too so uh, let's go on to the next thing which is uh, borders so borders can help separate the data and uh, it makes it look fancy, uh, etc. So um, we're just going to put a, a border around this uh, whole table that we've got here. So the border button is up here at the top in the font box. So simply press the drop down menu. We can have a look at all the options available to us at this moment. So we're just going to go with an outside border, like so. And as you can see, it's made a nice black border all the way around around the outside. For most tables you'll see that uh, they have uh, all borders so this makes it easier to see all the data and uh, makes, you, makes it easier to see what's in the column or row. So Dan why don't you take us about the next tool which is um, vertical and horizontal alignment. Okay cool. Um, if we grab this email address here which is dan at gmail.com we can see that that is currently in the bottom of the line. This means that it's at the bottom of the cell with space in the middle and above. So if we put it up to the middle alignment, we'll see what happens. So, as you can see, it's pushed it to the middle with gaps at the bottom and at the top. Now let's try top alignment. I'm sure you can work out what's going to happen here. So, as you can see, it's pushed it right to the top and is almost um, opposite of what, how it was at the, at the start with it at the bottom. So, this can be found in the alignment panel just up here. So it's very fancy like that as well. It does, yeah, you can, you can have them all different aligned, however you like. It's all exciting. So if we just put this back down to where it was before. Okay, Arjun, take it away. So uh, now we're going to talk about um, horizontal alignment. So on the top there was vertical alignment, so at the bottom here is horizontal. Now we're going to take this column D, which has uh, money uh, number values in. So at the moment it's on the right alignment, so this means that it's <laughs> everything's lined up. On That's the right. right, so if we switch to center alignment, yep. it's like uh, it's lines up in the center, so it goes through all the values and lines up the center of that data. This 
is very similar to the, the vertical alignment, but just horizontally with spaces left and right and so on. So, why, so why, why don't you tell the, us what um, the other if alignments are? We go to the next one, which is uh, left alignment. It aligns the data all to the left, as you can see there. It's aligned it all to the left hand side of the cell. So, we're going to take it back to the right alignment. So, Dan, why don't you go on to the next one, which is uh, wrap text? Okay, wrap text. Um, is for example if something doesn't fit in a cell so if we close up B the B column for example and we tap the wrap text button it'll make sure that it fits in so th this way it's made the the cell a bit bigger so yeah, height wise if, yeah height wise sorry it, height wise it makes it bigger of the whole column so this this makes the text fit in nicely um, it also makes sure that you can see all of the text at the same time because if we uh, left it as normal you won't be able to see a dress yeah so it makes it easier to see everything as well that's right yeah it's really important well it's really useful because if you're going to print this for say for example and the address is missing that that might be confusing or in fact if email was missing say then that would be very confusing uh, yes yeah it would be it's a good shout yeah so uh, the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Merge and Centre. Now we're going to use this uh, title that we've got up at the top here, which is Schlumbrich School Trip. Now Merge and Centre merges all the cells it, that you've selected and puts um, the data that's in one of the cells in the centre. So this is also part of the um, horizontal alignment, as we were just talking about. Yes, it is. So if we click on Merge and Centre, you can see that it's all the um, rows in A, B, C, and D1 have uh, merged up, and now the data that was in in, in A1 is now in the centre of this um, row. Yes. So Dan, why don't you take us on to the next bit, which is about currency and uh, number? Gee, thanks, Arjun. Um, okay, so this here is the, the number number panel on the home tab. So if we if we look at some numbers we've got, we've got in the money column here. So if we if we select, I don't know, let's say 800, which is on uh, D10 in Hayden's row. So if we um, grab this drop-down box here, we've got um, a massive list of different um, number formats we can have. So if we say, for example, we'll have currency because that's its money, uh, that oh, would make yeah, sense. Oh yes, definitely makes sense. And so it's all to do with uh, <coughs> pound. Exactly, yeah, because it's paid in pounds. So as you can see now, this has converted this into currency. You can also choose some different. Um, country uh, currency like euros, US dollars, yen, yen, yeah, that's a great one. Um, so, Isaac, why don't you talk about um, the other tools we've got up here. So, um, as we've got our money column, we'll start talking about uh, the thousand separator. So, if I click on uh, my one, I'm donating 2,500. Oh, good effort. So, um, obviously the comma separator would be very handy here as it's in the thousand. So, if we put it in, you can now see that it separated the two and the five as it's two thousand five hundred. Yeah, yeah, definitely, so really, it's really clear. Very helpful here is to to know that it's in the thousands and you're not just looking at two five zero zero or two yeah. five zero. So two thousand five hundred elephants. Exactly. So it's very handy to know that. Also, as you can see here, um, for Adam's uh, donation amount, he's is five hundred point three. This is very confusing because um, <clears throat> many people. Don't understand that there's still a zero after the yeah, um, makes, makes decimal sense. place for uh, pounds. So we've got handy tools here which increase and decrease the number of decimal places. So here we have the increase button which increases the number of decimal places. So now we've got two decimal places. Yeah, which that's really useful. Exactly, and it ma and makes you understand that it is still in pounds and uh, decrease decimal places as well. Yeah. Um, so Dan, why don't yeah. you take us on to the last few tools that we'll be using okay. in the editing box. The last few tools we're going to be using is sort and the find and replace tool. So if we start off with the find and select tool here, I'll click on, I think we'll start with, I think we should find, start with find. Yeah, that would make sense. So we get the find up here. Now uh, unfortunately we've entered a, a wrong piece of data in uh, yeah, one of the email addresses sure. which is ray.cove.atabin.com. Oh, that's obviously not <laughs> correct. So uh, I think we need to search for uh, that email address and change it to. Okay. So let's search ray.cove at a bin.com. Okay, as you can see, we just typed in. So we say find, and if you look closely on the 
um, the uh, sheet one here on B6 is found. Raise email.